We will now demonstrate the application of a lumbar pedicle screw after subperiosteal dissection and exposure of the anatomic landmarks such as the lateral border of the pars, the transverse process, and the superior and inferior articular process of the facet joint, noting the line that intersects the center of the transverse process and the lateral border of the facet joint as an anatomic starting point often denoted by the mammillary process. It can be decorticate, decorticated using a 3.5 millimeter burr or a rongeur. At this point, using the lateral border of the pars intersection with the transverse process and facet joint as the starting point, the pedicle finder can be introduced in the decorticated path with a gradual twisting motion and gentle downward force following the cancellous path of the pedicle. Once it is advanced to 30 or 40 millimeters, the pedicle finder can be removed and then the path sound with the ball tip feeler ensuring intact medial and lateral walls as well as cranial and caudal and the ventral floor of the vertebral body. The pedicle is then tapped in the trajectory the ball tip feeler used once again to ensure there are no cortical breaches of the pedicle as well as measuring the depth of the screw and then the screw is applied in the tap trajectory ensuring that the polyaxial head is free and mobile and that is the application of a lumbar pedicle screw.